Uh, Matthew Hesselman said, is it okay that the delay to Brexit has ruined my plans for a Brexit party? <laughs> Look, the takeaway news you need to know this week is this. We are not leaving the EU next Friday. Uh, Theresa May has asked the EU for an extension to Article 50 and they've given us a couple of dates. Here, here's what they are. If Theresa May gets an updated version of her withdrawal deal approved by Parliament next week, we will leave the EU on May 22nd. If not, there'll be an extension until April 12, when we need to decide whether or not we're going to crash out without a deal or stay longer and register for the EU elections. I know it's confusing to try and make things uh, clearer. I've had T-shirts made up. OK, here we go. Uh, May 22nd is the new March 29th. <laughs> uh, but then on the back, uh, unless May's deal doesn't get through, <laughs> then April 12 is the new March 29. And then if you, if you uh, roll it up a bit further, on which day we either crash out with no deal or we ask for an even longer extension. <laughs> right, that, is that clear now? Can we all... There you are. We can't leave the EU on May 22nd. What? It's a Wednesday. It's <laughs> we can't start a new dawn on a Wednesday. It's hump day. <laughs> no, no, one, no one's ever gone, right, time for a new me. The diet starts Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's odd. It's just two-week extension. We've gone on for three years. Yep, yep. Is she just going to keep extending? Is Theresa May basically doing the Brexit equivalent of when I click on my computer, remind me tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, last night, here's what happened. Theresa May was grilled by EU leaders for an hour and a half, and according to one EU source, her plan amounted to, quote, 90 minutes of nothing. Oh, that was like that review of your tour, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> which was unfair, which was unfair, because the night I saw, you came off after 70. <laughs> <laughs> and rightly so, because they couldn't hear you over the booze. Um, <laughs> 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 <I don't know. laughs> Well, well, I wonder yeah. at what point of that Theresa yeah. May started to realise that it wasn't going well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a long old time. Like, normally, when I talk on this show, in the first 10 to 15 seconds, I realise this isn't going well, then wait for Josh to bail me out. <laughs> <laughs> the French President Macron told EU leaders that before Theresa May spoke last night, he thought she had a 10% chance of getting her deal through next week. After she spoke, he had revised that to 5%. <laughs> <laughs> he honestly would have been better off not speaking at all. Which, which is not a... OK, remember the, the, the Tory leadership campaign? Yep. OK, Theresa May didn't say anything during that whole campaign and yep. she won it. Oh, yeah. Do you remember the election in 2017? She yep. gave a lot of speeches and she lost it. She is actually at her best when she doesn't speak. <laughs> Ronan Keating was singing about her. <laughs> Yeah, life, uh, life is a roller coaster. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> Listen, see, Macron said that it's a 5%, she thought she's got a 5% chance of getting a deal through. Yeah. To make you realise just how grim that is, yeah. Macron thinks that I've got a 6% chance of growing everything back. <laughs> <laughs> After the speech, Theresa May was removed from the room while <laughs> EU leaders discussed her plans. I'm over... picturing that, like, you know when Jazzy Jeff used to get thrown out of the house on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine it being like bouncers in the club. Come on, Theresa, you've had a few too many negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, EU leaders discussed her plans over a fancy three-course meal. She spent five hours in a windowless room and had to order pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, though, yeah. sitting for five hours in a windowless room yeah. is the happiest she's been in three years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine her ordering a pizza going, Hi, can I have a margarita? And they go, We haven't got any margaritas. OK. Hi, can I have a margarita? <laughs> no, we can't just do... <laughs> <laughs> You said you wanted to do a play because you found uh, touring and doing stand-up very lonely. Very lonely. Are you it's joking? Very, yes. Oh, it's your tour no. support. I find it lonely and depressing. <laughs>